सो टुडे इज द सेकेंड ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड वी आर गेटिंग ऑल सेट फॉर माई ट्रिप राइट नाउ आई हैवन डन एनी पैकिंग आई थिंक माई ट्रेन टू मुंबई इज फाइव सिक्स आवर्स फ्रॉम नाउ आई हैवन डन एनी पैकिंग बिकॉज आई एम वर्किंग बट आई विल स्टार्ट विथ माई पैकिंग राइट नाउ सो वी विल गो टू मुंबई एंड फ्रॉम मुंबई वी विल बी फ्लाइंग टू वियतनाम सो आई हैव माई ट्रेन विच इज़ गोन टू लीव फ्रॉम द थीविम स्टेशन टूडे एट अराउंड वन फोर्टी ए एम एंड वी विल बी रीचिंग मुंबई टमोरो आफ्टरनून अराउंड वन थर्टी टू पी एम uh and then tomorrow night is a flight to vietnam i'm super happy super excited and i hope you guys stay with me throughout the video so there are a few hours for my train and if you see my suitcase is still not packed but uh, yeah as usual that's me last minute and right now i hope i'll finish packing until my train arrives mm. oh it's finally time to leave it's 1 o'clock and our train is at 1:40 am but uh, i feel it's delayed by 4 hours which is like and now 7 am I just hope it's not delayed. So right now we are going to the train station here in Thevim and checking if it's really delayed or not. The app shows that it's delayed by four hours, and I just hope it's not because I don't know what we'll do there or we'll come back home. But right now it's 1 a.m. and we are leaving for the railway station. I'm fingers crossed. So finally a train arrived, but after an eight hour delay and it further got delayed so we reached eight hours late and we had to rush to the airport it's around uh, 9:30 right now and we just reached the mumbai international airport actually our train got delayed by i think in total eight hours and we were supposed to reach mumbai by around 1:30 in the afternoon but uh, it happened to get delayed and we reached around 8 PM which was quite late and we had to rush to the airport because um, our flight is at 12:30 so our check in and immigration starts at 9:30 so now we are at uh, the airport and we have Amay with us today so yeah uh, now we'll go to check in we'll go to immigration and we'll catch you back so we are here in the line for check in and I think literally everyone is going to vietnam as you can see the line starts from here until there so it's going to take a take us i think at least 1 hour to get there check in and then we have uh, immigration we had to wait for quite some time until we got our check in and immigration done and after almost an hour we were out just done with the, the check in we did our electronics luggage like check in and last was the immigration uh, so while we did our check in we had not uh, selected our seats like our preferred seats you get an option where you can select your preferred seats while you're booking we didn't because uh, there is an additional charge to that uh, so we didn't over here so they asked us if we would prefer like the window seat or whatever so they asked if we prefer the window seat or whatever so you can choose like a window seat or a seat with extra leg space but there's an additional charge of uh, around 920 per head that's totally your choice uh, we didn't choose because i don't think it is necessary uh, and our flight is at 12:20 so we'll be here for a while and then we'll go to our games uh hi amay so how do you feel that the day has finally come super excited it's been almost two months that only we have been planning we haven't spoken to anyone about this it's so exciting to finally do my first international so yeah that's his first international trip and my fourth or fifth i think i don't know uh but yeah we are excited because this is going to be one of my longest trips uh we are going to be there for almost 2 weeks almost 15 days um self planned 
and I'm going to put all the details in the video so stay through all my videos of Vietnam I'll put the details in the caption as well here we go bro finally finally landed in Vietnam and I'm so happy that it was a safe flight it was all good and we did our immigration and now we are here to collect our luggage then we'll make a sim we'll book a cab and we'll head straight away to a hotel the most preferred sim is Vietnam and costs like 1500 rupees for a month including data and calls so now we are looking for a cab and to book the cab we use the app called grab it's uh, so you make sure you install the app before reaching here so that you can easily book your cab and you know it's like uber ola how we have in india it's grab over here to the grab app basically you install the app and keep it and once you're here once you get your sim card you can register with your new number because you'll get the otp and it's just like ola uber where you can put your location and book the cab it was amazing to be finally in the city of your bucket list and vietnam has so much in store for us we already knew that so we finally reached our hotel it's uh, here this one and I hope we get early check-in because we are super tired and we want to rest for a bit before we go and explore the city. So unfortunately, we cannot check in right now. Check-in is at uh, 2 p.m. So we've left a luggage here back at the hotel, and we'll just go out, have some breakfast, and. Maybe explore the nearby places and then come back in the afternoon and rest for a while. That's when we'll get our check-in. So we have no other option yet. Well, since we couldn't check in, we thought of using the time we had in hand to explore the nearby areas. And we had a cup of coffee, rented a bike, and got going. Now we are in the central part of Oshimin. This beautiful church. This is one of Ho Chi Minh's most popular church. Uh, as you as you can see, it's it has this really beautiful architecture. weather is quite pleasant but it's very very hot it's around 27 28 degrees and we are sweating and we did not have a proper breakfast we just had coffee so we are here at this cafe and this seems like one of the most recommended cafes just exactly opposite in front of the church so we'll go here and we'll see if we get something to eat So we are just done with coffee and we had some really really good food at this cafe. I highly recommend if you are here, this is one cafe that you definitely need to try. So now we are headed to the next spot, I will show you where we are going. Uh, so before lunch, we will try to cover two more spots and then we will head to the room because that is going to be our check in time around 2pm. We will rest for a while and then explore rest of the city. 
are the next place. This place is called the Jade Emperor's Pagoda and it's really beautiful. It's a small place but it's really beautiful and whenever you visit places like this, uh, wearing a face mask is compulsory and it's, I'm wearing my mask. Um, so we are entering the place right now. This is the entrance. We skipped on lunch and explored more of the city because the city was so beautiful and had so much to offer. The beautiful architecture, the wonderful lanes and the people out here were just so heartwarming. So whenever you buy any juice at this stall, you get like this complimentary tea free. It's really really refreshing. Finally checked in in our room. Uh, this is our room, small and decent. We got this for around fifteen hundred rupees, Indian rupees, uh, per night. I feel not bad. Anyways, we just have to sleep here for the night. Hey guys, what's up? So we had like a roughly two or three hours sleep. I think not even three hours, but uh, we are a little bit fresh than what we were before and it's around i think 5 5 30 here so yeah we'll get ready so that we don't waste more time and i get to show you more places we were amazed to see how the ho chi minh city had turned by night it was beautiful it was all lit up you'll see shops cafes with glamorous lights so many beautiful things to do at night so many pubs so many nightclubs it was simply amazing we then visited the famous Benthen market to buy some souvenirs for home. We were spoiled for choice. Bags, cups, bowls, mini souvenirs, bags and so many things at such a good price. You will love the things out here and you definitely will be spoiled for choice. And here's some interesting street food that we tried. It was made from sweet rice and coconut and it tasted really delicious. The croissants here are simply amazing, crispy on the outside, soft inside. We then took a final stop at our favorite Kong cafe because we wanted to try the soup noodles and definitely the coconut coffee before we end the day. It was definitely such a treat. So that was all about from day one from Ho Chi Minh City. We are back in our room. We are tired. It was a really hectic day, but really fun. It was, it was so much fun exploring this city. We tried different kinds of food. We went to so many cafes. Some places we didn't really get good food, but most of the places the food is good. And I definitely can conclude that the, that the coffee here is simply amazing. So if you are ever in Ho Chi Minh City, their coffee is a must try. So this is where I close day one and I will see you on day two of Ho Chi Minh. We are exploring a really really beautiful place and I swear you are going to love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram Wonder with Kevin.